and welcome to the Friday Live Drawing and FOC Talk. I am here with both of the Dans today. Uh, Office Dan is in there making new listings for the website, so y'all get more new titles. D uh, Store Dan is in there helping me out with some paperwork to get that off of my plate, so I can actually do more inventory blowout sales. That is right, we are to the rafters and beyond in this office with the website inventory so we are going to need to do an inventory reduction which means y'all benefit greatly we have already started some of the sales uh and speaking of the sales with veterans day tomorrow please do check out i do believe dan is going to have a post later today but we are doing a 30 percent off website sale only uh, tomorrow starting well or tonight depending on how you want to look at it starting at midnight tonight going through all the way through midnight tomorrow so if you have been putting things off for those back issues please do check out the inventory blowout section as well as the new discounted sections we have been marking things down to 50 percent so um with that being said, I think I possibly just blew a fuse, possibly, so I'm not for sure if I'm still alive. Uh, hopefully y'all can see me. It does look like I accidentally blew a fuse on this side. So, uh, with that being said, maybe I can get Dan in here to help me out a little bit. Uh, but let me just keep on going. Uh, we are here to do a live drawing as well as FOC talk. Uh, so with that being said, I know, but can they see me? Because yeah. I'm like yeah, super dark on my screen. Yeah, I see you as well. Okay. Uh, but with that being said, we are here to do a live drilling. So uh, what we are going to give away today is a House of Slaughter number 12. It is the one in 25. I am putting it up on the cover cam. Hopefully y'all can still see that good. It is literally, it blew a fuse because of the heater. So it might have tripped. It might have tripped that. Okay. So if you want to try to y'all get a cameo of Daniel while he is trying to help me out. One of the buttons may have been yeah. if it's not blowing anymore. It's not going to affect that at all. Uh, I'll plug that first and then try it. Okay, while he is doing that, how this works. Sorry guys, I was trying to get warm in here and apparently I blew the uh, surge protector. So, <laughs> with that being said though, how this works is that you must make a claim on either a Facebook Live show or an album. So, it's connected to the computer. Uh, then you are entered into the live drawing at least a minimum of one time. So, with that being said, let's shake up the Chewbacca one more time. Sweet! Woohoo! Woo Thank you, sir. Woohoo! And Daniel fixed it. He gave you good luck, sir. Michael Stewart, you are our winner, sir. Congratulations. We will make sure that it gets in to your next, uh, next package out. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, though, that is the live drawing. We may be looking at the beginning of the year to change up the drawing some. I have not actually fully talked to Andy about it yet, but we may be looking into doing a little bit different type of drawing. So please be mindful of that going forward. Uh, but if you have stuck around, we are now going to transition into the FOC talk. There are three categories in our FOC. It is at www.dunkinvillebookstore.com. Anything that's in that FOC category is on pre-order through the weekend. You can order as many covers as you want, but you are guaranteed those covers as long as we get them in. And that does mean that you are guaranteeing to us by us ordering them that you are purchasing them. So... Uh, please be mindful of that. If you do order five, we are only specifically ordering generally up to five for you, specific for that order. So please do keep that in mind. But with that being out of the way, the first category is FOC DC. Uh, DC Comics does have a title uh, storyline going on right now. It is the Titans Beast War. This week on FOC is Action Comics 1060, coming at you with four covers. Then there is number
cover two for Titans Beast World with three covers. And then a one shot with Titans Best World Tour Gotham, which is coming at you with three covers. It's as the bestial infestation spreads all over Earth, the shape shifting spores finally start to take root in Gotham City. Follow the feral tales of your favorite heroes and villains as they lose themselves to their more beastly nature. If you have been following along with the Titans Beast World, uh, any of those that actually say Titans or Beast World at the end, anything in brackets generally is denoting a series storyline. So please be mindful of that. With Marvel, it is generally Fall, uh, DD for Dark Droids, GW now for Gang Wars, but I will get more into those with the Marvel category. So uh, featured titles this week are going to be Batman 428 Robin Lives. It is a one shot. It is not a facsimile. It is actually finally revealed from the DC Vault, the unpublished alternative ending to a death in the family in which Jason Todd survives his encounter with the Joker. What if one of the darkest hours in Batman's crime fighting career never happened? 35 years ago, fans voted on Jason Todd's fate after his brutal encounter with the Joker, which set Jason on the path to becoming the gun-toting vigilante Red Hood. But suppose fans had voted differently. DC transports you back in time with the special faux simile edition of Batman 428 in which Robin lives. It is coming at you with a foil and a blank for three covers total. Next up is Birds of Prey Uncovered One Shot. It is with five covers, a wraparound, blank, and foil included in that. The Birds of Prey get the uncovered treatment with this epic edition showing off the best variant covers for this epic face-breaking series. Next up is Bloody Dozen, A Tale of the Shrouded College Number 1. It is coming at you with two covers and is a six-issue miniseries. Miniseries premieres Space Vampires. In this new installment of the Shrouded College Supernatural Horror Adventure Saga, three down and out, uh, astronauts are tasked with the ultimate heist, breaking a group of deadly vampires out of a space prison orbiting the sun. Apollo 13 meets Blade in this killer thriller. <laughs> Next up is Invasion, or Invasive, sorry, number one. It is coming at you with three covers with a four-issue miniseries. <clears throat> it is beyond excess, beyond ethics, beyond science. Enter a terrifying new experiment in pain from Eisner Award winner or Eisner Award nominee Colin Bunn. Dr. Kerry Reynolds was a veteran trauma surgeon with a godlike mastery of muscle and bone. But outside the operating room, her rigidly ordered life spiraled into chaos when her daughter Heather, a recovering plastic surgery surgery addict, Suddenly discovered, disappeared out, <laughs> suddenly disappeared only to mysteriously reemerge in a catatonic straight state, her vocal cords removed. The latest in a series of victims scarred by a battery of cruel medical procedures that have baffled police and left an alarming number of once ordinary citizens maimed, mutilated, or dead on arrival. That cover A did remind me of the Silent Hill Nurses. If y'all have ever played that game or watched the movies, you will kind of see a throwback there. Next up is Total Party Killer number one. It is coming at you with two covers. It is also a four-issue miniseries. A mature dark fantasy with a blood splashing, a blood, a bloody splash of comedy for fans of Quentin Tarantino movies and Dungeons and Dragons. No one told Birdie the adventuring intern, that her first quest would be this bloody. <clears throat> Surrounded by mayhem, mutilation, and murder, Verdi finds little sympathy in her mentor, Captain Bastion. With the looming danger of the primordial dragon, and I'm probably botching a lot of these words, Grida, G-R-I-D-D-A, on the horizon, Verdi has to ask herself one simple question, how badly does she really want this job? Next up is Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo, Unplugged number one. I am highlighting this one. It shows the black and white edition with line work of the first 
two issues of this series. So it is technically classified as a reprint. So those of you who had Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo on your pull list, you will not be getting this unless if you've had all tie-ins, all printings. So please be mindful of that. If you are interested in this, you must order it on FOC. Uh, the For honorable mentions of assembly editions and multiple printings, you've got Batman 405 with a facsimile edition. Transformers number one, third print is coming out. And Quincy ought to love this because thankfully he is not doing Void Rivals. Void Rivals number one is in the fifth print. Number two is in the fourth print. Number three is in the third print. Number four is in the second print. And Void Rivals number five is in the second print coming at you with five covers. And yes, those five covers are each different. If you do look at that, they do look extremely similar, but each one has a different graphic with a different coloring scheme. So please be mindful of that. Next up is also Wesley Dodds, the Sandman number one second print, which is a character design variant. And the last issues for the series are Captain Ginger, The Last Feeder, which is 2 of 2, and Danger Street, which is 12 of 12. <sighs> yeah, pretty much, Dan. Uh, we've also got Mir Miracles, which is 4 of 4, Scrapper, which is 6 of 6, and World's Finest Teen Titans, which is also 6 of 6 for the last series and issues. That FOC DC category is due by 6 p.m. on Sunday, so please do not delay on getting your orders in. Next up is FOC Marvel. Marvel does have three, at least three storylines going on right now. Game War is the first one up with Amazing Spider-Man number 40. It's coming at you with six covers with a 25th century suit variant. Fall of X is the next storyline coming at you with Astonishing Iceman number five with one cover. Uncanny Avengers number five with two covers with one of them being a 60th anniversary Avengers variant. <laughs> uh, Uncanny Spider-Man number five, which is coming at you with three covers. And Wolverine number 40, which is coming at you with three covers with a 60th X-Men variant. Uh... Dark Droids is coming at you next with the next storyline. It is Star Wars Darth Vader number 41 with two covers. Star Wars Dr. Afra, which I did not finish typing that one out, but it is Dr. Star Wars Dr. Afra with two covers. I'm not for sure on the title because I or in the number because I looks like I did not complete that sentence on mine. But next up for the highlights. And I'm completely going to botch this title, is Borelis, B-O-R-E-A-L-I-S, number one. It does only have one cover, but the preview is winter nights last month. Temperatures can hit 70 below, alcohol is illegal, and something mysterious is emerging on the remote ice. Welcome to the isolated Quinu, Alaska, a world of bad memories for state trooper Saluk. So, Siluk, S-I-L-A-L-U-K, Sil, Osha. After 13 years away from Quinyu, Sil is pulled back to investigate a series of brutal murders only to face a dark past and her frightening connection to death, deadly legends. This does feel like it is kind of a story like 30 Days of Night. It is not guaranteeing that it is going to be anything with vampires or anything like that, but it does give you that 30 Days of Night vibe. Next up for the uh, number ones is Original X-Men number one. Come at you with three covers. The OG5 on an all-new adventure. Cyclops, Marvel Girl, Beast, Iceman, and Angel, the first and greatest heroes to bear the X-Men name. Once traveled into their own futures and reset the course of history. Now, another multiversal mystery calls them forth. When the dust settles, one hero will remain trapped in, a, in the world as we know it. With shocking surprise guests and heart-pounding twists and turns, Cage and Land kick off a story that will shake the whole MU. Next up is Rom and the X-Men Marvel Tales number one. Rom meets the children of the Atom as we celebrate the legacy of a house of ideas with Marvel Tales. During 
His classic adventures, hunting the vile dire race on Earth, Rom encountered the ever uncanny X-Men and Mystique's Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. In Rom from 1979, number 17 and 18, Rom and the X-Men are searching for the offspring of a dire wraith and a human, a creature known as Hybrid, which Serbio has detected as a mutant. But as they clash over <clears throat> their target, Rom gets a taste of his own medicine, courtesy of Kitty Pride. Then in Rom from 1979, 31 and 32, the Glen. The Galdorian hero battles Mystique's villainous mutant team, including feature, future X-Men Rogue, before teaming up with them for a rematch against Hybrid. Next up is Star Wars Revelations from 2023, number one. It has got two covers. From the High Republic to the original trilogy and beyond, Jabba the Hutt, Darth Vader, Mace Windu, <coughs> Thrawn and more, introducing new characters, new twists, and new turns across all Marvel Star Wars lines. The star dubbed issue puts the pieces on the board for what's to come in a galaxy far, far away. The honorable mentions, which is a second print, is Hollow's Eve, the Big Night number one. <coughs> that Marvel category is due on Sunday at 6 p.m just like that FOC DC section. So please do keep that in mind when ordering. Last but not least is that FOC miscellaneous. We do have a couple of highlights and some last issues on that. And then I will let y'all go so we can get started on this Veterans Weekend. <coughs> Gumma, beginning of her, number one. It is coming at you with six covers with a blank. I'm going to completely botch this name. O-U-N-G. Kalita escapes from a drug syndicate and discovers an ancient blade in a long abandoned temple. Using its powers, she becomes the goddess of the city, controlling the citizens through dark magic and fear. But events are being manipulated against her with the, from the shadows targeting Kalita. A final action-packed confrontation will awaken, reawaken the ancient war and change the balance of power between heaven and hell forever. Next up is Orcs the Gift, number one. It is coming at you with two covers and is a four-issue miniseries. An alliance between Orcs, Crows, and Elves is the last thing anyone would expect, but times have changed since the defeat of the wizard. The <clears throat> Adventuring a party grows larger as two of the crows join the gang of miscreant orcs, but the fun can only last as long as the wolf king holds a dark grudge against the orcs, threatening a second war of the beasts. Will this unlikely alliance last? And this one I put on there because uh, if anyone knows me, you'll understand fully when I read this title. It is The Three Stooges versus Cthulhu number one. It is coming at you with three covers. Larry Moe and Curly, the masters of Lovecraft, meet Lovecraft, the master of cosmic horror. It's the ultimate mashup of slapstick comedy and spine tingling terror as the Three Stooges take on the tentacle face elder god himself, Cthulhu. When their latest get rich quick scheme get, goes belly up, the boys find themselves in deep water surrounded by the fishy followers of old octopus face. Their only hope is to track down the root. Inclusive writer of Weird Tales, Howard Phillips Lovecraft. The honorable mentions, which are last of the uh, issues of the series, is Bloodborne Bleak Dom Do Dominion, which is 4 of 4, Buffy Last Vampire Slayer, which is 5 of 5, Scarlet Couture Mu Munich Files, which is 5 of 5, and Wonderland Child of Madness, which is 3 of 3. The second print is a Zawa number one. That does give me a little bit of twig vibes. So if y'all are a fan of Boom and Scotty Young, please do check out that number one. But with that being said, though, that does wrap up the FOC talk. Uh, FOC Miscellaneous is due Monday by 5 p.m. FOC DC and Marvel are due Sunday by 6 p.m. So please get your orders in sooner rather than later. 
Uh, with things being as they are, we will probably not be ordering up on a lot of those covers because multiple titles now are having four to seven covers each. So please, please, I cannot stress this enough how FOC is important. Please do get your orders in on FOC so you can get the comics that you are wanting. Uh, but with that being said, please do keep an eye out on the Facebook page. We have been changing things up at the store, so we will be making announcements shortly about what is going on up there, as well as more and more things getting added to those discounted sections. So please be kind to each other, treat each other how you wish to be treated, and we will get through this insane world together. I will see y'all sometime next week. Y'all have a safe weekend.